hello everyone once again welcome to pm networking guys today we are going to configure voice vlan and data vlan with dhcp so here you can see this is my scenario right we have one router on this router we will configure dhcp service and we will configure telephony services right here you can see we have two ip phone right this is cisco ip phone we will configure phone e phone type as well so this one is ethernet phone one this one is ethernet phone two here we, we you can see we have two pcs for data communication right so on this switch we will configure two vlan right one for voice vlan and one for data vlan suppose i will configure vlan 10 and vlan 20 vlan 10 for voice vlan right and vlan 24 data vlan so and then i will uh, show you how pc1 can communicate with pc2 or how these two pc will get ip address from dhcp in different vlan in from data vlan right and how these two ip phone will get ip address from voice vlan okay so without wasting our time let's begin first of all let me start configuration from the switch okay so here i am going to configure this port f0 slash 1 to access port for vlan 20 for data and vlan 10 for voice so this port is member of voice vlan 10 and data vlan 20 in the same way this port is also member of 2 vlan right vlan 10 and 20 vlan 10 for voice and vlan 24 data after that we will configure this port as trunk port right this port as trunk port then we will configure a router so by default as you know we cannot configure ip addresses on ethernet phones so we need to configure dhcp on router so that this ip phone will get ip address from dhcp so first of all let me turn on these two ip phone ethernet phone so guys here to turn on your ethernet phone here you need to put this adapter okay here just let me give the power and now you can see my phone is up configuring ip so we will see later configuration of this phone first of all let me turn on this phone as well okay so now you can see both phone is powered on and you can see gui right so configuring ip definitely this machine will not get ip address now because i am not running dhcp service on router okay now so first of all i am going to configure this switch so on this switch i will make i will create two vlan first of all so interface config t in global configure mode say vlan 10 and name of this vlan is suppose voice okay after that exit vlan 20 let me create one more vlan and name of this vlan is sorry name is suppose data okay after that interface f0 slash 1 switch port mode access switch port mode access oh, sorry switch port access vlan 20 for data right this is configuration of data vlan so now this port is member of vlan 24 data communication and switch port voice vlan for 10 switch port voice vlan 10 so this port is member of voice vlan of 10 in the same way on f0 slash 2 also we will run this, these three command same commands okay so switch port mode access first of all up to that switch port access vlan 20 for data communication and switch port voice vlan 10 so this port is member of vlan 10 for voice after that interface f0 slash 5 which is connected with router we need to configure this port as trunk port so here we will run switch port mode trunk command okay 
now guys configuration of switch is done so let me write something here this port is member of both vlan 10 for voice and vlan 24 and data okay these two port fine now i am going to configure router so as you as you can see we have two vlan on this switch so here we need to create two sub interface so this one is f0 slash 0 we will create two sub interface first one will be f0 slash 0 dot 10 and second one will be f0 slash 0 dot 20 we will configure encapsulation protocol on both virtual interface right one for vlan 10 and one for vlan 20 so let me take access of this router first and here i am going to create two virtual interface go to config t up to that interface f0 slash 0 say no set okay exit now i am going to create virtual interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 okay here encapsulation protocol is dot 1 q for which vlan for vlan 10 and here i am going to configure one ip address suppose ip address is 192.168.10.1 255.255.255.0 so i have configured this ip address on f0 slash 0 dot 10 on virtual interface okay now i am going to configure interface f0 slash 0 dot 20 second another virtual interface or you can say sub interface here also encapsulation protocol will be dot 1q for which vlan for the vlan 20 for data vlan okay and here i am going to configure ip 192.168. suppose 20.1 255.255.255.0 is submit mask fine so guys i have created two sub interface do so ip interface brief you can see here okay i have created two sub interface on this router right and we, uh, we i have configured dot 1q encapsulation protocol for vlan 10 uh, to this port to this sub interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 and i have configured dot 1q for vlan 20 for you can say data vlan on this port f0 slash 0 dot 20 now i am going to configure dhcp here so first of all i have configured two ip address right one from this network and one from this network this one is network id okay and this one is network id right okay because i am using slash 25 so first of all i am going to exclude these two ip address so ip dhcp exclude 192.168.10.1 and ip dhcp exclude 192.168.20.1 so i have exclude these two ip address now i am going to create pool so ip dhcp pool and name of pool is voice after that network so for voice i have created one pool name is voice so here i am going to define network 192.168.10.0 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 this is for voice vlan so that's why i have configured pool name voice here default router will be 192.168.10.1 okay and guys on this router you have to configure telephony services right so we you, you have to run one command over here so that this uh this router can download and configure telephony services from tftp server so as you know by default tfcp tftp services is running on routers right so here you will run this command option 150 ip and here you can provide the ip address of default gateway or whatever you can provide the ip address of tftp server as well if you have tftp server in your network so here i am going to configure ip address of my default gateway okay now i am going to create one more dhcp pool ip dhcp 
pool and this time name of pool is data okay and here network is 192.168.20.0.255.255.255.255.255.0 and default router is 192.168.20.1 we don't have dns so i am not going to configure the dns now okay so guys dhcp configuration is done here you can verify so ip dhcp pool right by running this command you can verify okay now i am going to configure e phone services on this router so first of all go to telephony mode mode so now i am in global configure mode so if you want to configure e phone first of all you will run this command telephony service in global configure mode then you will go in telephony service mode so here you can see now mode is configuration telephony and here you will define how many i e phone do you have right how many directory do you want to create right so if you will put question mark here here also you can see this one is max dn right max dn means maximum directory number that this device can support max e phones means define the maximum number of ip phone that this router can support okay so first of all i am going to define maximum phone max e phone ethernet phone so we have only two ethernet phone as you can see in my topology so i am going to configure maximum two or you can configure five six seven anything right you can configure up to 42 phones right in your network so here i have only two e phone so i am going to define maximum e phone is two after that maximum dn maximum directory that means maximum virtual port that you can create on this device is and range of max dn is 1 to 144 so again we have only two e phones so we need only two virtual ports right so i am defining virtual directory sorry max directory number is two after that if you will put question mark here you can see we need to define ip source address so you will use this command ip after that source address and here you need to define ip address of source so let me define the ip address of default gateway 192.168.10.1 and then port 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 number is suppose 2000 or you can put question mark over here so you can see the range okay so i am defining the port 2000 ports over here now if you will put question mark you can see guys we need to run one more command over here right we need to define what auto assignment that uh, you can configure auto e-phone registration that means automatically e-phone will register okay so here i am going to configure run one more command that is auto assign and then directory number okay so you can see directory number is range of directory number is 1 to 44 so let me say starting is 1 after then then 2 2 this one 144 so let me define 5 or you can define 2 as well okay 5 oh my god set and i think we don't need to configure anything else here right so configuration is done on this switch on this router now guys i am going to configure e phone so say e phone one after that type so type of your phone is so we can see you can see in packet tracer we have three types of e phone so this one is suppose cisco ip phone 7960 so let me define the phone type is 7960 after that e phone 2 and again type is suppose same okay then guys 
then if phone directory here we have to configure dial number for phone that on which number someone will dial okay <coughs> so e phone dn directory number and uh, suppose here if we can say one for directory one and here i am going to define number dial number so dial number is suppose zero 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 one okay for which phone for phone e phone one right for directory one for virtual port one okay this one is that now guys e phone dn two and here i am going to define number suppose zero 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 two okay this one is number dial number for e phone two and now just wait for some time this this machine will get ip address this ip phone will get now here you can see ip address is 192.168.10.4 here on this phone you can see ip address is 192.168.10.1 so these two ip phone are getting ip address from the dhcp server right from which dhcp server actually we have configured two pool on router so these phone are getting ip address from the voice pool of dhcp and if i will configure ip address on this pc so if i will request for ds to dhcp so see dhcp server will provide ip address from 20 network so let me check ip address on this pc also so say no select dhcp so here you can see IP address is 192.168.20.3 so guys can I ping from this PC this one is data VLAN so now ping 192.168.20.3 see I am able to ping that means PC 1 is able to ping PC 3 so data communication is fine working fine so but is my IP phone working fine so see here IP address is what 192.168.10.4 and here you can see IP address is 192.168.10.2 so guys as you can see this phone is saying that I am configuring IP address ok so let me check here just do it so IP DHCP binding okay so let me check guys okay 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 fine let me run one more command here so e phone okay This machine is still configuring IP address. This machine is also still configuring IP address. Let me turn off this machine, guys, and let me turn on again. wait for some time okay so here also Just wait guys.
no so this ip phone is not getting ip address just let me check the configuration of switch enable say so vlan brief okay so these two ports are member of okay and these two ports are member of data vlan fine f0 slash 1 f0 slash 2 okay so i think configuration is right on switch okay let me check trunk configuration so interface trunk okay so f0 slash 5 is trunk that's great okay now you can see ip address of this phone is 192.160 so actually in packet tracer it's taking much time right so it will take some time to get ip address from dscp server so now you can see ip address of this machine is 192.160.10.4 and ip address of this machine is 192.168.10.3 so here on gui see guys now this phone is fine so dial number of this phone is 0001 right and dial number of this phone is 0002 so here i am going to dial 0 0 0 one so see it's ringing and if you will click on this phone on gui you can see someone is calling on this phone so here you can receive it by clicking here you can see now both phone are connected so these two phone can communicate with each other and these two pc can send data to each other as well see here okay so this is voice and data vlan configuration hope this video is helpful for you if you learn something from this video guys make sure you have subscribed this channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe this channel now and if you want notification whenever i will upload video please click on bell icon and if you have learned something from this video hit on like button Thanks for watching. We will meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye. If you have any doubt, right, guys, please ask me in comment section. No problem. I can make one more video on it. I can make actually multiple video on it. No problem. So if anyone have doubt to understand any concept, please let me know in comment section. Right? Definitely, I will check your comment and I will make more video as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.